Why does that not work? Um, uh, that looks like JavaScript to me. Um, let's see. Uh, I get the developer console in advanced. I have Firefox installed. See, let's paste this in. Star 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 dot left. Uh, looks like you have some comments in there. Not letting me paste it. <laughs> okay, so uh, window dot add listener on key down as e is the event rps is 20 switch the code if it's key a oh then go down move it a few pixels you're trying to move something around on the screen based on if it's um ASD, oh, um, it's, the problem is it only works once then is broken. Yeah, it looks like you need maybe some state. And do you have the HTML that, that goes with that? Um, let's see, let's make a directory. Won't let me post it. Um, oh, weird. I guess you could. Can you DM it to me? Oh, that's a lot. Where is an image? Okay. Over game buttons. Got a map. Player tracker map. Got a sky and some grass. I have too many slash divs.
Oh, I see. This here. Not found, that's weird. Oh, this goes in pages. Pages. Okay, so we have our div. Then you want we want to add some JavaScript. So let's open a script tag. Uh, case key A. Actually, the player. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't have that file, but hopefully, um, hopefully, I'm still able to help a little bit. Oh, I see. PS is uh, how far to move it. You have a Discord? Uh, no, I don't have a Discord quite yet. Uh, maybe it's time to set one up. Operation <laughs> or statement is expected. Um, yeah, I guess. How are you getting the element? Because it just has it just has star star star. Um, The, can we say document dot uh is it called get element by id It was a PLR of R that I connected to a query selector. Cool. The, um, what do you do? Maybe like document.ready or something like that?
console.log tomato. Yeah, so we're getting that. And then let's look up a uh, key down in JavaScript. Oh yeah, we could start with this. Uh, let me say it was document hello. Okay, so we're getting or getting our listening working. Uh, so now it looks like you want to move the CSS around. Um, Switch e dot code. It's a, I don't know, let's say, um, uh, this default will be to break. See how do we set uh, styles directly? Um, let's get CSS. Uh, Uh, let's see, let's say current position. Let's say at zero. So when we say left, we can say the left is uh, current, current position. But first, we want to update it. So we'll say um, current position uh, plus or equal, plus equals, uh, I guess. Uh, probably minus equals 20. Um, and like that. And we could do Oh, we have break already. Then let's reload that. And 
inspect it. So there's not really updating the uh, styles of it, are we? Um, Sent to an absolute position. Okay, we don't need this uh, over here. Oh, maybe it's position relative. I guess we can try logging it and do what I mean. I've been stuck on this for two days now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this, though. We're going to get this. This is definitely doable. I'm a novice at JS. Cool. Well, welcome to the club. It's uh, it's it's fun over here. Uh, even though sometimes we do get stuck on things for two days, we uh, we learn and we get better. Okay, so we're getting updates. We can see current position is updating. Uh, we just need to set the right CSS. That CSS with JavaScript. That style that property equals. Okay. I think it needs maybe a wrapper around it. Um, but it has one called the map. Let's see, let's try setting it to be a string. And if we inspect it, are we getting any changes to the style? This position relative, we're not seeing any updates to the actual style, uh, which is a little surprising. Uh, we'll start by setting it to be something uh, let's see, let's 
Clean up the spacing a little bit. I'll start it off at uh, 200 to show that uh, we're actually using the right property. Okay, so that's the right property. We see it's moved over a whole bunch. I'm going to switch to the order of these, and I also want to print out um, uh, log.style. Okay, so it's a string, 200px. There we go. So we're moving, we're moving it around. <laughs> what's wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what was wrong. Uh, let's go back to your code. Um, I think one thing that was different was that um, you needed this style like the element dot style dot left for one. Um, and maybe you had that, it was, it was asterisked out in what I copy pasted. Uh, let's get your switch statement on screen again. This is what was in uh, Twitch chat. There was a bunch of asterisks uh, so I'm not sure if you had style that left. Um, this is another difference is I used uh, double quotes, which I'm not sure if that's uh, necessary or not. Let's set it back to be single quotes. Okay, so number of quotes doesn't matter. Um, and I also did the do I need to string cast it first? No. Okay, so that's not what was wrong. Um, I guess another thing that might be is that I guess you're doing this minus equals of the property itself. And because it's a string, uh, it doesn't quite make sense. Um, I guess one thing I'm doing, I have the current position as a separate variable. Um, let's update position. And this is a number. So I can, I can add and subtract from that number based on which key I'm pressing. Um, and then at the end, after I set the new position, then I update the style uh, by setting a string. It looks like your code is trying to um, subtract and add from the um, the CSS style, uh, which is a string.
And is there like a dude emoji? Be a cowboy. Uh, no, I think it's. I think. I think the biggest thing is you're adding and subtracting from a string. You need to add and subtract from a number. And then once you do that, you convert it to a string and set it on the style. Does that make sense? Um, I can say that I can say you get the style. I can say dot left. And see this is a string. Now if I say left uh minus equals twenty um twenty px, that's it doesn't make sense. It doesn't move. If I get the style again, it didn't it didn't change. And if I add, and now it's now it's this string, which which doesn't make sense. Oh, thanks so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so your code was was adding appending strings, which then you get like one twenty px plus twenty px is is that it's the same as saying you know one sixty px plus twenty px. But what you probably meant to do is yeah, uh, keep track of a, a number for the current position. And then you can add or subtract with it. This is why I love Python so much easier. I think it might be time to go back to my natural habitat. Um, yeah, right on. That's another idea. I guess it's like where you want to deploy your game to. Um, I think Python also has, you know, the type system is closer to JavaScript than it is to Swift. Or you can store a string or a number in the same variable in Python. Um, well, thanks so much for the question. This was fun to figure this out real quick. I guess this is current uh, x. We could also probably have like a current y. And also add like a top. W, uh, Y, I guess it's uh, minus equals 20. Case uh, uh, S.
why uh plus equals 20 break and i guess this should probably be like d oh i'm missing a quote and we can update uh this is um Current x style dot top y. You say Swift is easier than JS. Um, I think it just comes down to preference. I think they both have their challenges. They both have their things that are easy. Um, if you want to build for the browser, I think JavaScript is a hundred percent the way to go. I'm not sure why I'm getting this uh, this error. I guess there are more warnings than error. Uh, you're building for iOS. Um, I mean, I love Swift. Swift really matches how my brain thinks about programming. That's why I fell in love with it. Um, JavaScript is also another fantastic language. But yeah, the, the type system is a little uh, different. And people have tried to fix that with TypeScript, which honestly I'm not as familiar with. Uh, but from what I've seen, there's um, uh, there's some nice things going on there too. Update position. Update pos. And what's the error here? Expected token. No, I think I think that's correct. Uh, let's see what Firefox thinks. Uh, un unexpected colon. Oh, this was supposed to be a uh, semicolon. There we go. Now we have our Webway running around free. If you want to make a web browser game, then I would I would say continue with the JavaScript. Um, get to know and love its quirks. If you want to make an iPad or or iOS game, then yes, Swift is great. Um, you can also write iOS apps in JavaScript, which I personally don't like to do, but you know some people do like to do it because then it also runs on on Android. So with as with most things in life, there's there's pros and cons to to everything, and it also comes down to just what you what you prefer.